Hey friends, it's Miss Hoffman again. Today we are going to learn step by step how to draw a, a cartoon porcupine. And the reason why I was inspired to do this one is again the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden Safaris that they're doing every day on their Facebook page. There is a porcupine named Rico that lives at that zoo and they've done a couple of videos with the porcupines and with Rico. And the other day they posted a short little video that wasn't part of their safaris, but a short little video of Rico eating a big spoonful of peanut butter. And it was probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen. So so I thought it would be fun to learn how to draw cartoon porcupines since we have been doing some animal drawings going with those Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens, mixing a little bit of earth science and a little bit of uh, science with our visual arts. So we're going to learn how to draw this porcupine. And it's pretty easy. We want to start with a pencil. Remember that Miss Hoffman is going to start with a marker, but we want to start with a pencil. I'm just doing it marker so you can see my lines a little bit better. So if I mess up, I mess up. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to start by just drawing some of the porcupine's needles here just kind of going up and around and they don't have to go exactly in the same direction as miss hoffman's because they're going to be all over this guy but we want a few going this way to kind of look like they're going towards the front of his face because the porcupine even has needles or the little uh stickers going down over their the front of their nose to protect them and then it also goes back towards their head so we're going to start off with like a little mohawk okay now i'm going to draw a line for his nose that kind of curves around like that okay and remember to pause me if I'm going too fast now I'm gonna curve down where his mouth would be in his chin curve down for his neck around for his belly so it's kind of like the shape of a side of a peanut if you think about that or a sideways you okay now I'm gonna curve around like that, and that's gonna be his forehead, nose, where his mouth's gonna be, chin, chest right there, belly, and up to where his little spines are gonna be on his bottom. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and place in where his ear's gonna be, because we're gonna put little porcupine needles all around it. So over here, I'm just gonna kinda draw like a C shape for his ear. And now we're gonna go ahead and get his face put in. So for the porcupine, now porcupines and hedgehogs look a lot alike, but their noses are different. If we were drawing a little hedgehog, we'd do a little round nose, kind of like a little round circle nose. But for a porcupine, we're gonna do two little dots like that. You might be able to classify the difference between the porcupine and the hedgehog. Then we're going to draw a line in like that. Give him a little smile. Remember, this is a cartoon, so it doesn't have to look perfectly realistic. We're gonna do a little circle. This is where you can break out your fancy cartoon eyes if you want to. I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple, do a little light reflection, make it kinda look like he's looking up because he's gonna be holding something and you get to choose what he's holding in a minute. And I'm gonna color in the rest of that black, which you can do in a minute since you're holding a pencil and I'm holding a marker. But just to show you what that's gonna look like with a little light reflection make it look like he's looking up. I'm going to give him a little eyebrow above his eye. Okay, give him a little cartoon look. Next, we're going to do his arm. It's going to come out like that and around like a C. Okay, so it looks like he's going to hold something. Line, line. And then bring in the arm. And his other arm can be over here. Out, around, and back. One, one. And give him a little foot here with lines. And a little foot here with lines. Just like that. Now we're going to give him all of these little spines. First, we're going to go down his body. So if you look at the finished one, 
You can see all of those little needles and spines kind of come in and around. So we're gonna start with those little close-knit ones close to his body. So we're gonna just kind of do dashed little lines and they can go in different directions. And then we're going to go kind of around the edge of his face and around the edge of his body. Going in different directions making it look like lots of needles. So it kind of went around, okay? Now for the rest of them, I can make them a little bit longer. Now their tail ones are pretty long, so I can make it go all the way to the edge of my paper. And the tail ones on the tops of their heads are pretty long, so I can make those pretty long. And then I'm just going to draw little dashed lines all in this section and we will color the rest of this in with a crayon in a minute. So if you leave some white space, that is totally okay. You do not have to fill in this entire space with lines because we're gonna be coloring it in with crayons in a minute. But you're just gonna kinda get the basic feel. And their little spines will come down on their forehead and across their nose, protect them from predators there. All right, so now we have our basic porcupine. And you can see, I'm not gonna color in my example here because you don't wanna sit here and watch me color for a half an hour. But you can see when you color this, I colored my porcupine with a brown crayon. I colored his ear with a brown crayon. And then all these spines and needles, I went back over and I colored in with gray and brown, and then I pressed hard just here and there to make it look like little accents there, shadows on the spines with my gray and brown crayon. And then to bring a little bit more emphasis to the, to the spines, but then I would just color in lightly with the rest. All right, so I would mainly do gray, black, and brown for my porcupine earth tones. Remember those neutral colors. We've talked about warm colors, cool colors, and neutral colors. I would stay with your neutral color palette with your porcupine. Now we have to add our background. So I'm going to put the ground underneath my porcupine's feet, and I could color this brown to look like dirt, but I did green in mine just to give it a little bit of contrast between my porcupine and the background so everything wasn't neutral tones. And then I colored my sky blue. But you have to decide what you want to be in your porcupine's hand. Do you want your porcupine to be holding a flower? Do you want them to be holding a balloon? What are they looking up at? Maybe since Rico from the Cincinnati Zoo likes to eat peanut butter, maybe it's a big old spoon of peanut butter. So that would be cute. What I did is I just did a balloon. So I started off by putting the string and Rico the porcupine's hand here. And then I did the bottom part of the balloon, like that. Tie, like that. And then an egg shape, give it a little reflection. And that gives it a little bit of an emphasis area, especially if you color that balloon red or a bright pop of color, give it a little bit of an emphasis area where you got a little area that pops. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you take some time to draw sometime this week. And I'll be posting videos, new videos, um, every day or every other day, hopefully every day, to give you lots of choices when you log on to look at the special boards. So be expecting to see more every time you come on. I miss you guys. I hope to see you soon. Bye.